I could touch this with my head. It's like slightly off center, but I don't I don't think that matters. Nah, it doesn't matter. Hi everybody! I bet you weren't expecting this. A kooky craft in 2022? What is this? Are we still in a pandemic? I regretted that joke almost immediately. I'm sorry. I I feel sorry for you. Can, can we just cut it? Yeah, cut cut this. It's not gonna get cut, is it? It never is. But yes, we are back with some more kooky crafts. What do we got today? Today, we're gonna make a frog. I, I was looking through our older kooky crafts and we have never done a frog before. Can you believe that, Chester? Really? Not once? Not once. Never done a frog before. Such a sad thing. So we're gonna do it today. We're making a frog. Yay! And as we usually do with kooky crafts, Bambi will be giving us some fun frog facts while we go through how to make this fun frog craft. Thank you, boss. It's great to be able to start sharing some animal facts again with all of you. Toffee's excited too. Aren't you excited, Toffee? Uh. He's ecstatic. Try saying fun frog ten times fast. Fun frog, fun frog, fun frog, fun frog, fun frog, fun frog, blah, <laughs> So what are we making our fun frog out of today? So we're going to be using our handy dandy toilet paper tube like we do for lots of projects here. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have one of these. Of course, no toilet paper on it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then we'll also need a pair of scissors and we're gonna need something to attach some body parts of our frog so you can either use tape or a stapler. I brought both because I wasn't sure which one would work better. And then you're also going to need a handy dandy pencil and some paper. Now this paper will be used for the frog's legs and eyes. Since I happen to have some green colored paper, I decided to get that out today. But if you don't have colored paper, it's not that big of a deal. Just regular white paper will also do the trick. And then you'll have more to decorate. Ooh, I like decorating. So how are we decorating today? Today we're gonna to be decorating with paint, which is what you're sitting on right now. Oh, oh boy! Can I open it? Go for it. Yeah! Whoa! So Chester, you'll get to pick from that selection of paint of what to decorate our frog. Oh. And of course, anytime you paint, you're going to need a paintbrush and a cup of water, depending on what kind of paint you use. Today we have acrylic paint because I'm the opposite of everyone else's household. Most households have standard cheap paint and don't have crazy expensive paint. I have acrylic paint and don't have cheap washable paint because why would I? But before we dive into the paints, we're going to first cut our toilet paper tube in half. So Chester, if you wanna hold this, I'm gonna get the scissors and we're gonna cut right down the middle of the toilet paper tube. You might not want your mouth in that close. Perfect. So we could technically make two frogs for the price of one. Exactly, you can turn both of these sections of the toilet paper tube into frogs. So the next thing we're going to do, decorate. No, 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 before we get to decorating, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is pick an end of the toilet paper tube and whoop. You can already see it's springy, just like a frog. We're gonna pinch it shut, and that's going to be the back end of our frog. So you're either gonna wanna use your tape or your stapler to attach this back end together. Today we're gonna use a stapler, so if you wanna hold that, Chester, I'm gonna staple our back end together here. So if you're using a stapler, I would recommend putting one staple on each corner of the back end of your frog. And this part we're gonna keep wide open for that lovely inside of the mouth of your frog. Now, now we decorate? Not yet, aw. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our white paper here and draw two small circles that will be the eyes of your frog. Yeah, one, and I'll try to make the second one about the same size. All right, so those are gonna be the eyes. Next, I'm gonna take my green paper here and make some legs for the frog. 
Now how I want to do this is I'm going to come to the edge of the paper here and that will be where I draw my legs out. I'm going to start by making two curved lines and then just putting some circles at the end of those lines for the feet of the frog. Amphibians, meaning that they are cold-blooded and spend part of their life under the water. All amphibians undergo a life cycle where they start as eggs underwater, then hatch out as polywogs, begin to grow legs and develop lungs before finally emerging on land as adults. Frogs are unique in that they will drop their tails once they reach adulthood. You can find frogs wherever land is warm and wet and they can come in all sizes, from the smallest at 7.7 .7 millimeters to the largest at 12.5 inches. So now that we have our frog legs and our frog eyeballs, the next step is just going to be to cut them out. Now that we have all of the pieces of our frog, it is time to paint some colors onto the body. So what have you chosen here, Chester? I've got green paint so we match the legs that we have, and then a little bit of yellow paint for the belly and some spots. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and paint it on. Yeah. colors reminded me of one of my favorite species of frog, the magnificent tree frog. It is found on the northwest coast of Australia, and much like Chester's choices, its colors are green and yellow. This frog enjoys hiding out in small cave-like areas, but if it's in a neighborhood, you might find it in your shower or your toilet. Imagine, you're doing your business, and there's a frog living in the toilet. How uncivilized. So while the main color of our body is drawing, I'm gonna take a smaller paintbrush and a little bit of black paint and make the pupils of our frog here. I'm just gonna put one tiny dot right in the middle. Alright, our main body is dry, so I'm going to take my smaller paintbrush and get some yellow details onto the frog. Let's see, Chester said he wanted a belly, so we're going to choose to make this part the belly and paint some yellow on there for the belly. Another one of my personal favorite frogs are poison dart frogs. These small cuties are best well known for their vibrant colors, warning predators to stay away. These frogs get their poisonous glands from the food that they eat. When they consume ants and termites, the toxins in those insects stays in the frog system, allowing the toxin to be passed on to any predator that tries to eat the frog. Now that we have the belly, I'm going to flip it over to the back of the frog and put some yellow specks on there. Making yellow specks is really simple. All you got to do is do a little bat with your paintbrush. And there we go. We've got a speckled frog. And to make sure that the legs match, I'm also going to be putting some yellow specks on each of our frog legs here. The 
American bullfrog can be found across ponds, rivers, and lakes in the eastern United States and Canada. These fellas are everywhere. And that isn't necessarily a good thing, as they have become an invasive species in several western states. Right now, they pose a threat to the California red-legged frog because of their ability to handle rough climates and their mass consumption of the insect population. Basically, they don't leave anything for any of the little guys to have. They get the name bullfrog from the bull-like chorus noise they make. Males will often come together in groups to make the loudest noises in order to attract females. Think of it as a frog version of American Idol meets The Bachelorette. Hey Toffee, can you give me your best frog sound? Are you finished? Hmm, I think I'd try to do it more like this. That's about how it sounds. And for one extra detail, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, I'm going to take a little bit of dark pink, or you can use red, and paint the inside of the toilet paper tube for the inside of the frog's mouth. I'll use my big paintbrush for this one. Frogs are pretty well known for their jumping skills. In fact, the biggest jump a frog has been recorded to do is a jump from the South African sharp-nosed frog. This frog holds the record for the longest jump at 130 inches in one leap. That is 44 times its size. And it's not a big frog either, it's a little one. Imagine if you could jump the length of 44 of you. That's how powerful this frog's jump is. Alright, now that everything's dry, we're on the final step, which is putting our frog together. I'm going to use some tape for this. I'm going to tape the legs here. Alright, now I'm using masking tape. You could use... Just regular scotch tape. I just happen to not have any scotch tape right now. And of course, if you really want the tape to blend in, if you're using tape, you can make sure to paint over that as well. Now the important thing here when you're attaching your legs is you're going to want the front legs pointing out and the back legs pointing towards the back so it'll look like that the frog is trying to hop. All right, now the final step here is going to be getting those adorable little eyes on. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either just directly attach them onto the top of the head, or you can try and make them three-dimensional. If you try to make them 3D, I would suggest taking a little bit of your second part of your toilet paper tube and cutting a small strip I'm cutting a small strip that you can fold so that your eyeball sticks up. Frogs and toads are often mistaken for each other. Some of the easiest ways to tell the difference between them is their skin and legs. Frogs have smooth skin and long back legs for higher jumping, while toads have bumpy skin and short back legs. A frog's skin is actually quite thin and very susceptible to the elements, which is why they stay close to the water. A toad's skin is rougher and more thick, which helps the toad venture further from the water and live underneath and inside wet logs in the forest. Is he ready? Yep, here is our fun little frog. Oh, look at his little face. I like how his mouth is wide open. Zoom in on that. He's just going, ah! So that is all for this episode of Kooky Crafts. If you liked making a fun frog with us, go ahead and put a pause up and press that like button. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe. What would they comment about? Mm, maybe they could comment about how you need to go get some regular tape instead of using masking tape because it's clearly not working with this little guy. Wow, way to call me out on my lack of certain supplies. Please don't comment that. Comment it. Spam it. Don't spam it. Spam it! Oh, thank you again. It felt so good to share some frog facts today. I really enjoyed it. Toffee and I are here whenever you are looking for some fun animal facts. Right, Toffee? <sighs> <sighs> Still the same as ever. So with that being said, we'll see you next time, whenever that happens to be. Goodbye! Hey, pounce it on my nose. Nah. 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 <laughs>